put my cards on the table No doubt in my mind Too grown to be afraid of The problems that arrive Girl, I'll take my chances If I must decide But I notice that it's bigger than my problems and my pride It's you that I want Oh, baby It's you From there, what are you talking about? What does that mean? This is my team. Okay, okay, see, you one of them, okay. You know what, you're one of the biggest traders. See, me, I'm a true Laker fan. And now that LeBron is playing for this team, you know it's a wrap, right? I would even take the Clippers over the Lakers. What? Uh. Where are you going? <laughs> see, you a real hater, you know what I mean? Get out. You know this is my house, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is your week. Mm -hmm. Just sit down and watch your team get beat. Mm -hmm. My team ain't gonna get beat. Look, I've seen Uncle Drew play, buddy. Throw the L up, LeBron. LeBron! Hey, girl. What's up? Hey, girl. I'm headed your way next week. What? That's great. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. I know. We got a lot of catching up to do, too. Well, where are you staying while you're here? Oh, my job's putting me up, so I'm good. You know you're always welcome to stay here. Thanks, girl, but I am going to take full advantage of this five-star hotel they're putting me in. It comes with a spa and everything. Oh, well, maybe I should stay with you. Yeah, you should. I mean, we could do a spa day. We could do dinner. It'd be great. That works for me. Hey, listen, I'll call you when I get in town. You and... Danny. Hello? Hey, girl. <laughs> uh, look at them legs. Woo! I tell you, boy, if I was a piece of furniture, I'd probably hit this. <clears throat> probably hit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Too much wood dust me here, man. Uh, yeah. Hey, but hey, look, seriously, speaking of hitting, um, we gonna hit that. Hit what? What? Cheyenne. Oh, oh, don't give me that. Come on, man. She fine. She can cook and she likes sports. Bruh, look, yeah, hey, if you don't want her, let me have her. <laughs> man, listen. You know that girl been my friend for over five uh, years? I don't want to mess up a good thing. It might be a better thing if you hit. <sighs> Look, sex will just mess things up, man. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Who said that? She did. Ah, I figured that BS didn't come out your mouth. <laughs> Look, man, I've had my good fill. I'm good. I bet you do, because you ain't think like Cuzzo. You know I get it in. Ugh. Oh, that's a little stroke. Listen. That's a little, little ooh. That, that's little, too much. Ooh, too, too much? Too, too much you don't visual, care, you brother. Don't even in the woods. Oh, See, this is why you're in therapy, back man. Now. See? Let yeah. me in there. Look at that. <laughs> nasty, man. <laughs> I'm nasty. You trying to freak the wood, but I'm nasty. Okay, let me tell you something, man. The only thing you can get an STD from wood is a splinter. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Call this boy. Hello. Hey, Darius, where are you? Are you still coming? Ah, oh, man, will you relax? I told you I had a, had a little business. And what's this business's name? Now, why every time I tell you I gotta handle business, it gotta be a female? Name. <sighs> All right, Natalie, you happy? <sighs> Dude, I so know you. Look, just hurry up. All right. So, 
What's your relationship to Darius again? My other best friend. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. Girl, trust me, nothing, okay? <laughs> Shorty wavy, but she crazy. She said she need my love. Did you want to know? No, I'm good right now. Thank yeah, you. that's what they told our Kelly. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so. Hey, 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 ladies. <laughs> hey. What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you too. This is my friend Daniela I was telling you about. Okay, so the infamous Daniela is in the building. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, well, nice to meet you, too, finally. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, what are you guys drinking? Uh, we've been drinking champagne. Champagne? Yes. That ain't no drink. Hey, Fred. Yeah, here yes, sir. It's time to turn up, baby. Oh, All my right. God. Whoa, 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 whoa. You coming back here to drink uh, You know, the, the drinks is on me, including you, too, lady. Uh, Oh my goodness, this feels Ooh. so good. Girl, I needed it. Me too. <laughs> so Darius seems nice. He's cool, and he's a really good guy. Mm, so why aren't you dating him? We're just friends. Excuse me, ladies, would you guys like some cucumbers? Oh, yes, yes please. please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't friends make the best lovers? <laughs> <laughs> you would say that. Ladies, like anything else? No, uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Thank you. Please enjoy. I'll be back about 15 minutes. Okay. Darius dates a lot, and I think he's seeing some woman that he calls his regular. I don't want to get caught up in all that. So what? He's not trying to settle down, or what? I don't think so. You know, it's always that same story. Some man getting hurt by some woman, and so he dates a whole lot of women to avoid getting hurt again. Girl, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Oh, he's having a party tonight at his house. We should go. I want to introduce you to his cousin, Mike. You'll like him. Or well, if he's anything like Darius, I'm sure I will. <laughs> if anything, <laughs> He'll be good company. And you never know where to go. <sighs> You're right. You're right. Look, as long as he's not married. Nope. Single as far as I know. <laughs> Cheers, girl. <laughs> oh. Yes. I <sighs> I would do that with you, but you know, we just met. It's all good. It's cute. Y'all got it? Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. So, uh, why didn't you ask me to bring anything? Because you always be bringing everything. Look, I just want you to come and see I have some cooking skills. No, I know. All right, if you know, then go take your butt over and get some meat. Well, you go get us a drink. He's <laughs> so crazy. Uh, cooking skills. Girl, this man gets more impressive by the minute. All right, time to turn up. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's have a toast to new and old friendships. To new friendships mm. and old ones. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you get this? The bodega, boy. You can't <laughs> lose. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. 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 So, Darius. Nice party. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you came in and enjoying yourself. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, the food was really good. Mm. You're a nice cook. Yeah, I could do a little something, something, something. I bet you could do a few other things, too. Excuse me? In the, in the kitchen, of course. In the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, OK. Cheers. Cheers to uh, Kitchen Diaries. Kitchen Diaries. Mm-hmm. Damn, girl! You gonna eat all that? 
Uh, yeah, do you see me? <laughs> Takes a lot to fill this up. Okay. You show sure is long. Mm. You just my size. You, you think you could pick me up? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Cause I need a man who could pick me up. And of course, feed me. Well, let me get your number. Okay. Let me just talk to you. Let me just. Let's share this seat, cause it's cold but out here. We got this fire pit. You know, I just want to say, um, I think I'm feeling like a lollipop, and you looking kind of. Sweet. <laughs> you know, I, I, I got another question. How many licks it takes to get to the, the center? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Scan all the dudes away. I had to come over here and help you. What's going on? Yeah, what was all that little chitter chatter between you and Daniela? Chitter chatter? What do you mean? Look, I'm just trying to entertain your friend. Look, ain't that what a host is supposed to do? Okay, host. She is just fine. What? Is Shy wanting a little, uh, Darius attention? <laughs> Boy, please. Uh, I know what it is. But I was trying to tell you, you got this whole Beyonce thing going on oh, with you. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Right here. Boop. I'm just, <laughs> okay. you know, Boop. Sure. <laughs> now your girl's fine. Just like you. <laughs> I know you got an 8 by 10 of me in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Powerful. look, I'll come and check on you again, but, you know, at least try to talk to me. Yeah, watch out about that chitter chatter. Everybody drinks on me, all right? Hey! All right. Hey. Hey. Turn up, turn up, it's a problem. Damn, man. All right. That yellow, she firing in Cheyenne. Yeah. <laughs> now, I wouldn't say all of that. I mean, they're both beautiful women. You gonna get that Daniela before she leave? She, some tell me she was feeling you. Well, actually, Cheyenne thought you two would hit it off. Oh, nah, 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 me? I left with that tall drag. What? Yo, you're half her size. We made it work. We made it work. <laughs> I bet you did. Hey, you need to stop doubting my skills. <laughs> hey, but look, seriously, man. Back to Daniela. She cooling off the conversation. The whole time we was there, man, she was eyeballing you. You need to hit before she leaves. I'm trying to tell you. Nah, nah, nah. Cheyenne's friend. I can't do that. What rules say you can't hit Cheyenne's friend? That ain't even a couple. Look, even if I wanted to, it's too late. She already left. Darius, you are like the saddest R&B song ever. You pathetic, man. How do you think Michael and Daniela hit it off? Uh, I really wasn't paying attention to it. Really? So y'all didn't talk about it at all? Not really. So what do you think of her? I mean, she was cool. Cool? Is that it? What else am I supposed to say? I don't know. It seemed like you thought more of her than that. I mean, she looks like she got it together. I mean, she's attractive. So would you date her? Where's all this coming from? I mean, I don't know about all of that, but... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. She says... See, I'm not... She, she had a little booty, but... I knew... I knew, I knew you were I, checking I'm out. A, I'm a dude, yo. I mean, it was right there. Like, I just wanted to take <laughs> Kevin? Oh. Hey, Cheyenne. Oh, wow. How have you been? Good. Long time no see. It's been a while. How's your buddy Darius? He's fine. <laughs> you know, I never did understand your friendship. Understand what? I mean, it just seems like you guys are... I don't know, undercover in love with each other. You just won't admit it to yourselves. <laughs> or each other. <laughs> That's crazy. He's just my friend. Okay. That's it. You say so. I say so. 
Look, why is it that men think that two people of the opposite sex can't just be friends with nothing else attached? Cheyenne, it doesn't happen like that in the real world. You mean it doesn't happen like that in your world? <laughs> Considering that you need to sleep with everyone to justify your manhood. Wow. <sighs> Same old bitter Cheyenne. I am not bitter at all. <sighs> you do realize that you cheated on me like more than once, right? All right, that's my cue. Yeah. But I never cheated on you. We weren't together at the time. <sighs> okay. Just take care, Sharon. It's really good seeing you. You are still just as beautiful as ever. You know that, right? Thank you, Kevin. I'm so sorry my meeting ran over. This poor guy thinks he's my only clone. Oh. <laughs> Sweetie, would you send me up a light and sweet, please? You want something? A double is supposed to be good. What's happening? Thank you. Every single time. I'm like, listen, I got things to do. All right. I could tell him 35 ways from Sunday, he's still not gonna get it. Why? Because he's hard headed. <laughs> you are fun. Well, guess who I ran into today? Who? Kevin. <gasps> no. Yes. Hey, look. Fine. Oh, I always thought you two were so cute together. Yeah, until we weren't. <laughs> <sighs> you ever think about giving him another try? I don't know. He did look good, though. Well, you know, Mama said looks ain't everything. True. Although some things are worth reconsidering, especially if the person has grown. That part. What you got for me? A new book idea. Tell me. My lady. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is you? Hey, this go ahead. Let me, you... let me hear it. Oh let me hear gosh. it. This is your own business this right over is, here? I mean, I, I do all right. <laughs> this is Ooh. nice. Right? I mm. like it, I think. <laughs> of course you like it. You got yourself a businessman. You is <laughs> I'm very talented. Let me show you some of my other talents. Come here. Come here. Oh. I don't. I'm hungry. Hey, I'm all you need. I'm a whole snack. No, I need, I need to what? eat. We need to eat. Ain't you hungry? I'm, no, man, we just ate like an hour ago. I got a fast metabolism. Well, we ain't did nothing yet. So, I kind of get... I'm hungry when I'm stopping. Oh, I got you. You want some mints? No, I don't want no mint. What I'm gonna do with a mint? I want some food. You ain't gonna feed me? You make this real hard. Okay. Yeah, let's go eat. Okay. Let's go eat. Okay. Yes. I was texting somebody earlier that, uh, that uh, we both know. Okay. How do you feel about me and Danielle, you know, hooking up? Uh, well, this is a surprise. Yeah, we've been talking for a minute. When did you guys start talking? She hasn't said anything to me, and why are you just now saying something? Well, I mean, you know, we've been talking for a couple of weeks. I mean, she's been kind of busy, so she probably didn't get a chance to tell you, and it's really nothing to tell. What do you mean, nothing to tell? You just said you wanted to date her. No, I, I think I said I don't know if I wanted to, but, you know, we've been talking, and we actually have a lot in common. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just friends, so you don't need my permission. And anyway, she lives all the way in Atlanta. How is that going to work? I mean... We can make that work. I mean, that's if we want to make it work, but that ain't hard. Whatever. You mad? You, you see me date several women. Yeah, well, none of them added up to anything. She has substance. <laughs> so what, this is a competition? A competition? No. Well, you know young black women like doing that. What? This 
has nothing to do with being a black woman. And I'm not doing that, especially not with Daniela. Well, all y'all women are crazy. And when have you ever tripped on me like this before? You never did this to me before. Yeah, well, I'm not tripping over you now. Look, let's just watch the movie. You love me, don't you? No, I don't. Maybe as my best friend. Are you sure that's all? Yes, I'm on, sure I that's got, well, all, got, Darius. Jeez, why are you getting so salty? Just messing with you. Man. Hey, girl. Hey, I'm just calling to let you know I'll be out there again next month. Oh, wow. <laughs> you haven't visited in years, and all of a sudden you're visiting two months in a row? Well, the first time was for business, and this time Darius invited me to come. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> that just great? Are you okay? You seem a little bothered by that. No, 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 no. I'm not bothered at all. Um, just... Hey, listen, I gotta go. I, I got another call coming through. It's for business. I'll talk to you soon. I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. You got it back. Darius invited you? Hey. Hey. So what brings you out here to my place of business, huh? Just curious about something. That curious that you drove all the way out here and didn't think to call me first? Just needed to get out the house. Writer's block. Oh, OK. So what's going on? What made you invite Danielle out here? I thought it would be cool to invite her to your movie premiere. Oh, that's what you thought? I mean, it was kind of her idea, but it sounded fine at the time. Really? Yeah. I mean, Daniela is your friend, right? Yeah, she's my best friend. And I've had like three or four of these things over the years, and she hasn't been to one. She's always so busy with her job, and now all of a sudden she wants to come out? Maybe she wants to change that. Change what? The dynamics of your friendship. Our friendship is fine. I do what I do here, and she does what she does in Atlanta. And maybe she's not fine out there. What are you talking about? I think you need to have this conversation with her. Oh, OK. So you guys have these deep conversations without me now. What? <laughs> you know, I'm going to I'm going to just go. Yep. China, you act. No, it's OK. I'm just I'm just going to go. Why are you acting like that? Whatever. Jimmy, just Jimmy. I need us to be on the same page. He needs the entire hour to set up. Now, 15 minutes. All right, let me know. OK. All right, looks like that's the last of it. So everything is good with the premiere and the after party. You do not have to worry about a thing. All right? How's the book going? It's going. All right, well, I need it to be more than just going. You got a deadline to meet. Don't worry. I always meet them, don't I? Yeah, you do. And that is why you are my best client. You know this movie's gonna send you into the stratosphere, don't you? You think so? Oh, I know so. You've been paying your dues a long time, Cheyenne. Many, many years. It's your time, girl. I'm feeling that too. Are you? Look, I'm gonna have a pretty tough time out here trying to sell somebody who don't believe in themselves. I know. All right. Oh, shoot. I got a meeting in five minutes. Listen, I'm so sorry that I can't be there for you, but you know Cassandra has your back. I am a phone call away. Thank you. You got it. You sure you good? I'm okay. Do you think, girl? You know, I'm thinking about moving out here. What? 
What brought this on? Aren't you a major account executive at your company? You'll risk all that to move out here? I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. I could always find another corporate job. I'm not worried about that. Anyway, I thought you'd be happy I'm even considering moving. You've been trying to get me out here for years. I'd be happy. I was just wondering about your job situation. You're doing so well out there. I can do well here. Maybe it's time for a change anyway. Wow. Okay. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I never heard you talk like this. You never take chances. You're always the one who plays it safe. I have to take a chance at some point in my life, especially if it's something that I really want. Is there something you need to tell me? I'm just not that happy in Atlanta anymore. Why? I'm all by myself. No family, very few friends, and the few friends I do have aren't real ones. None that matter anyway, it's just all getting old. Are you and Darius getting serious or something? Well, maybe. How come neither one of you said anything to me? We weren't sure how you feel. It didn't go so well the last time he asked you about it. I told him how I felt. So how do you really feel? About what? About me and Darius. I don't know. It's your life. Wow, you're not okay with it. You really do have a problem with this. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And you don't have to say it for me to know it. Your passive aggressive actions say it all. Okay, well damn. I'm not okay with the fact that neither one of you felt I was important enough to let me know something so major. And I'm not okay with the fact that you're taking my friend away. Gosh, all of this is happening so fast, I can't even wrap my head around it. You always want what I have. What are you talking about? Ever since I've known you, I've always sacrificed what mattered to me so Danny gets what Danny needs. Even in high school, you always got the guy, always got the outfit first, or whatever else you wanted. Really? We're gonna take this back to high school? Yeah, Daryl Kennedy. I acted like I didn't like him just because I thought you did. <laughs> and then you turned around and went to prom with him. I never knew you liked him. I only went to prom with him because he asked me. I liked his brother. If I would have known you liked him, I wouldn't have gone with him. Well, you didn't ask. You didn't then, so why start now? Please don't try to act like you're some sort of victim here. So you want to go back to high school? I always lived in your shadow. I still do to this day. I'm the friend of famous writer Cheyenne Winters. In high school, who was the star of every stage production? Homecoming princess, prom queen? I lived in your shadow. You did not live in mine. So please stop and act like you have some memory of how things really went back then, not some story you've created in your mind. Created? I was there too. Yeah, well, you seem to have selective memory now. You've always been spoiled and selfish, Cheyenne. Not me. What? You are the epitome of spoiled. And you still take what doesn't belong to you to this day. Mm. Like other people's husbands, for one. Yeah, you thought I didn't know about that. You know what? Oh, we gonna turn up tonight, baby. Whew! It would be you right now. Well, hello to you, too. You know what? I'm gonna just, let me just leave you two to your one. You, you know what? No. I'll take the one. Excuse me. Let me know if you need absolutely anything. I'm here for you. Thank you.
Thank you. You're so awesome. Thank you. So did she make it off to the airport, okay? Yeah, I got it there. It was, everything was cool, smooth, but uh, I was kind of shocked that you didn't want to see your friend off. I mean, was the argument that bad? I do not want to relive that tonight, okay? Come on, Cheyenne, this is your friend. Like, there he is. There he is. Please, okay? Let's just have some drinks and have some fun. <laughs> this night is not about her. This night is about me and my film, my yeah. party, my mm -hmm. future, right? Mm -hmm. You right. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. So what we drinking? Let's do tequila shots. What? Tequila? Yes. You trying to get lit tonight? Uh, it's my party. Uh, hey, you trying to bring out <laughs> Sheba. Hey, Joy, we get two tequila shots. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Have some aspirin on deck. Where's Mike? Oh, man, Mike saw some girl, man, in a wheelchair. Turned him on or something. He oh. said he had to go in the bathroom. Stop. Yeah. Well, here we go. I'll catch him later. To success, baby. No, 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 no. What happened? Did you do it? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, we did. Oh. Okay. There he is. Are you feeling as crazy as I am right now? No, not really. Not really, okay. What are we gonna tell Daniela? What are you gonna tell Daniela? Oh, shoot, I forgot about Daniela. Yeah, Daniela. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll tell her before she gets here. Yeah. Uh, you, no. It's, this was just something that happened. And it doesn't mean anything, so we don't need to tell her. Um, it doesn't mean anything? Mm, I don't know. I mean... Does it? It definitely changes my perspective on everything now. Okay, well, you you can't hurt her. Because, I mean, she's moving out here in two weeks because of you. No, she's not moving out here because of me. Mainly because of you. Okay, so what? You care about her feelings more than you care about your own? I didn't say that, but... God, I can't. I can't. I can't live with this. I can't hurt her. She's not talking to me now. It's bad enough. And I can't. You know what? Yeah. That's too much. Darius, come on. Listen, Cheyenne, you're gonna have to start realizing that your feelings matter just as much as others. I know that. No, I don't think you do. You good, bro? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You and Cheyenne had it up last night, huh? Shoot, what about you and the one you left with God, last night? Nah, man. She was too much. I had to kick her out in the middle of the night. And look, man, get this. On top of that, she snored. <laughs> 
Man, these women don't have a chance with you. You just gotta stay on top of your game if you gonna deal with me playing that shit. <laughs> I get this one. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I got this one. Uh, may I help you? <laughs> Hi. Uh -huh. Hi, I was referred to you by a friend, and they said you do excellent work. I mean, we try. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you could do something like this? Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, since it's for you, I'll make it special. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet, yeah. but it's... Actually, from my mom. Oh, it's for your mama. Yeah. Well, I'll make it even more special. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, you know what? Yeah, so is there a form I need to There fill is, out or there something? is. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Okay. okay. Got this form right here. Here's your, here's that beautiful piece of artwork back. Um, if you could just sign at the top. Right there. Okay. And I gotta know before him before you sign, is that a miss or missus? It's a miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that um I'm uh, enamored by your beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right there. Mm. When, when will you need this? Well, how long will it take? Uh, maybe a few days, a week. You know what, better yet, I think I think it's best if I call you. You know, because it's a lot of detail. We can discuss the details over dinner, perhaps. Yes, well, there's no rush, oh. and all of the details are on the paper. Oh. oh. But dinner should be fine. Cool. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right, um, I'll give you a call. Okay, will you do that? I will. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, enamored by her beauty. Yeah. Where, where you get that word from? Man? Oh, come on, man. Don't, hey, did you see her? That, hey, that's wifey right there, boy. And you got all of that from that little moment? Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> come on, man. I'm with the rest. Walking dead. Let's go. Shot. Listen, man. I had a good night. Business in a year? I'm impressed. You act like I never come here. Uh, no you don't. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm allergic to the sawdust. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, is she here? Yep. Did she move in with you? Nope. I missed you. Really? Yes. <laughs> you got a funny way of showing it. You know, asking all about your friend. Yeah, well, seems like more your friend than mine lately. Hmm. Well, whose fault is that? Okay, I was wrong. Kind of went about this whole thing. <gasps> Yeah, don't worry about us. We just listening. <laughs> anyway. So you saying? You know what? Just can we talk later? Well, I'm kind of busy later. But I'll call you. Okay. Just, I guess, just call me. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Mio. Mm, you smell good. Boy. I'm just saying, it's delightful. Oh, good. I need to talk to you. Danielle's in town. Oh. And I think I'm gonna just tell her what happened. What? No. You really think that's a good idea? No, but God, it's eating me up inside. <sighs> okay, well, do it in a public place. You know what? I'm gonna just tell her. I'm gonna just tell her that I was drunk. It was a big mistake, and it only happened one time. Yeah, I think that'll work. Right? No. No. But you know what? That's what I'm gonna tell her. Really? Sweetie. You're a very talented writer. I'm pretty sure you can come up with something a little more creative than that. Thanks for agreeing to meet up. Yeah, I um, wasn't gonna pass on a free meal. I'm living off my 401k right now. I have something I need to tell you. What is it? I don't know exactly how to say this. Say what? Okay, well, um, come on, just say whatever it is you have to say. Um, Darius and I had a, thank you, thank you. Had what? We had a night together a couple, couple weeks ago. What does that mean? Oh, you slept with Darius. Is that what you're trying to say? You better say something. Did you sleep with Darius? Yes, I did, but it wasn't supposed to happen. We were at my premiere and we started drinking. Please don't use that just... dumbass, I was drunk excuse. This is not college, that does not fly. I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> you know what? I knew something like this was gonna happen. It's typical Cheyenne. What? I've never done anything like this before. Yeah, not this exactly. You just can't stand to see me happy, can you? It's like if I'm not wallowing in misery with you, then it's a problem. That's not true. Oh, it's very true. Our lives always seem to run parallel when I have a man, you have a man when I'm single, you're single. I don't know if it's planned or if it's a coincidence, but it always seems to happen the same. That's what it is, a coincidence. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. You know, I think you need to figure out whatever it is that makes you happy so that you can learn to be happy for those around you. This ain't, this isn't enough, but. Open. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. Hey. You all right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what happened last night? I've been calling you like crazy. I was having dinner with Daniela. Oh. Wow. So you finally decided to mend things, huh? Well, nothing was mended. Why not? I told her what happened with us. You did what? Yo, run to the friend code. Like, why would you do that? I thought we agreed that we was gonna leave it alone because you said it didn't mean nothing. Well, I couldn't hold it in. Wow. Wow, what's the problem? The problem is, is that Daniela and I decided to move forward. <sighs> now this. Well, at least you're going into it with honesty. Yeah, but I didn't tell her. You did. Well, whatever, now she knows. Now she know. Yo, so you really like this? Acting all selfish? What? Was it hard for you to hold it in? Or you just really didn't want to hold it in? Look, I'm not selfish. I was just being honest. I felt like the girl needed to know. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Next time, stick to the code. No. 
I think I need to leave them both alone, man. What you talking about, man? Your little love triangle? Look, won't you give them to me? I don't know what to do with them. What are you gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Monsieur, are you not familiar with a menage It's my special thing. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, this is why I don't be telling you anything, man. <laughs> Look, you're making this way more serious than it is. You know what the problem is? The problem is that both them girls are in love with you and they can't handle it. Uh, Daniela, yeah, she might be like that, but Cheyenne, nah, she don't love me. I mean, we used to mess around talking about stuff like that, but uh, never took it seriously. Man, look, just sit back and enjoy the ride, all right? Let them do all the work and you just play the game. And you know what's even better about the situation, man? They're not even talking to each other. Listen, I just want to apologize to you for not telling you about Cheyenne. Look, I didn't want to hurt you and didn't mean anything anyway. I know the only reason she told me was to keep me from you in the first place. It happened. As long as it doesn't happen again, we're good. <laughs> oh, no, no. No repeating over here, baby. It's just me and you. Good. <laughs> I think I like that better than the pasta. <laughs> mm. Stay room for dessert. Oh, dessert? <laughs> Check, please. Hello? Cheyenne, how are you? I'm good, and you? Well, I can't complain. Look, I'm just calling to see if um, you'd like to get together tonight for some drinks. Dinner. I'd really love to see that pretty face again. I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm actually headed to see someone right now. All right, then. Well, um, maybe another time. You know, I'd really love to sit down and talk. OK. That sounds good. We'll link up another time. All right, I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> OK. All right, well, I won't keep you. Um, so have a good night. Thanks. You too. Well, look, I just want to take you out and apologize for what I said when we was together last. No, no need to apologize. I haven't been handling things right lately. Hmm? Are you surprised to hear me admit I was wrong? I just didn't expect it. But then again, you do be surprising me every day. <laughs> <laughs> Daniela just makes me overreact about things. Everything. It's been that way as far as I can remember. I just feel like I need to stay one step ahead of her. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe you were right. Right about what? Maybe it is a competition thing. And I just didn't have the nerve to admit it before. Oh, wow. That's huge. Gotta grow up at some point. Can I ask you a question? What? I'm curious about something. Sure, go ahead. Why do you like me? I've never had a man ask me that before. Um... I don't know. I, you're nice. You can fix things, you're a great cook, and I like talking to and spending time with you. Yeah. You're someone I could see myself with for a lifetime. A lifetime? Yeah, why not? Um, how can you say you could spend a lifetime with someone you just met? Well, we're getting to know each other. Yeah, I guess. So what happened to you in your last relationship? Oh, uh, it's, it's a long story. I want to hear. What's up with all the questions tonight? Well, why are you getting so defensive? I'm not, I'm just wondering, like, what's up? I mean, we're getting to know each other, right? Yeah, I guess so. If I tell you, 
You can't judge me. Not my place. He was married. Okay. So, you didn't know that when you met him, right? I didn't know until I drove past his house and I saw them together. So, when you found out he was married, you, you ended it, right? Not exactly. Not exactly? Wait a minute. So, how long did you mess with him when you found out he was married? A couple of years. Look, I, I, I moved to L.A. because I really needed a fresh start from all that drama. Okay, so that's pretty much the real reason why you moved. You said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you. I'm not so sure. You know what? I could use a drink. You, you think you want one? Yeah. So, uh, you sure you want to do this? Yes, and not while I'm drunk either. All right. Oh my gosh, look at it. Huh? It's coming along so nice. You might have to make me one of these. And you know I will. You're so good with your hands. You know that turns me on, right? You hungry? Ah, you want something to eat? We can go eat. Come on, let's go eat. Wait, what? We just ate. What are you talking about? <laughs> we did. Yes, we, we did. did. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm okay. So, um, we've been seeing so much of each other, and we've yet to sleep together. Well, uh, I didn't know that, uh, dating you was a prerequisite. Oh, it's not. But, I mean, <laughs> we'll get to it one day, you know. One day. What's wrong with right now? How's it working out with them two hotties? Hotties? Yeah, the two cuties, lovelies, booze, whatever you call them. Mm, it's actually working like a charm. I mean, neither one of them knows about each other, but <laughs> you know what, man? This just feels wrong. Why? Because eventually someone's gonna get hurt. Well, duh, dummy, that's how you play the game. Look, look, man, let me tell you something. You make them think you're getting serious, but don't you dare get serious. That's your game, not mine. Oh, no, it ain't my game anymore. Mm. <laughs> hey, but look, any typing going on? Yeah, both. Oh! Huh? I'm living through you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, enough about me. What's up with you, man? You still hooked? Never thought I'd say it, man. She got me. Well, it happens to the best of us, bro. Not all of us, though, huh? Nah, I never said that. I mean, it can happen to anybody. I mean, it, I think it's actually happening to me now. Ugh. Hey, man, don't get caught up. Do yourself a favor, all right? Man, well, I know you ain't so... First of all, how you gonna give advice if you don't even follow your own? 
This dude. I'm really glad we're back hanging out again like old times. Yeah, me too. I'm just curious. Have you talked to Daniela lately? Um, uh, nah. You know, she got this new job, so she ain't had no time for me. <laughs> I was just thinking about reaching out to her. You know, seeing how she's doing. Oh. Well, I mean, if you feel that's the right thing to do, I mean, I guess you should do it. Why wouldn't it be the right thing? I mean, the last time y'all met, I had some pretty harsh words. Yeah. I guess we have to let it go at some point, though, right? Yeah, it's true. But look, whatever you want to do, I got you back. Hmm, thank you. Mm. So whatever I want to do? Whatever you want to do. Whatever I want to do. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. I need it. And I'll be helping a lot of people. Just, I feel like I need to do something about the illiteracy rate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know this could be a long-term thing. Yes. I know what it is, and I also know what I have to do. But I'll get to teach, and I'll get a lot of writing done at the same time, which is key to that deadline. You're right about that. You know, I think this could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you. I think so, too. All right. Here's all the information. You just let me know if you need anything, okay? I will. I wanted to tell you that my mom loved the piece of furniture that she made her. Of course she did. Come on. <laughs> it made her very happy. Thank you. No problem, babe. No problem. But you know what? What? You make me happy. I do. Very, very, very happy. <laughs> Bring it up. So what's up? I um, just got offered an opportunity to do a literacy and writing program in Africa. I think I'm going to take it. How long are you going to be doing that? I don't know. Uh, they said I can stay as long as I want, and there's a high need, so could be a month, could be a year. I don't know yet. We'll see. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Expecting what? You leaving, especially right now. I think it's for the best. Things are getting a little too deep for me here. <laughs> What's getting deep? <sighs> Can we just finish the game? It's your turn. Sure. Whatever, Sean. Okay, so there's this lady at my job named Kevinetta. Like, what type of name is that? Mm -hmm. It's almost as if her parents wanted a son, but they found out they were having a daughter and they still wanted to name her after her father. Mm. It's crazy, right? <laughs> anyway, she's always in my business. Like, every morning I come into the office, she's watching everything I do. It's, like, so annoying. Anyway, I think I'm gonna say something to her. <laughs> Yeah, say something. Are you okay? Hmm? You just have seemed a little preoccupied tonight. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so anyway. Hey, 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 you know what? Me, but... <coughs> you know what? 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 You know what
you're right, you're right. I, I haven't let myself. I think I'm gonna go to the crib, you know, relax, oh, gotta feel a little sure. sick. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, I've been hurt. It's, it, I just didn't want to, you know, make you feel sad or nothing like that. Okay. I hope you feel better. Uh, I, look, I don't want to get you sick. Like, I don't want, you know, you don't want this. It's nasty. Uh, I want myself out. <laughs> okay, be safe. I hope you feel better. I'll talk to you later. Hey, what's up, sex? Nah, nothing, just chilling. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. If maybe you and I can hook up for dinner tomorrow night. All right. I'll see you then. All right. Later. So, this is it. Yep. At least for now. I don't know what I'm going to do without my best friend. I'm sure you'll keep busy with your other best friend. What best friend? Daniela. Cheyenne, can we not go there with this tonight? We won't. Have dinner by yourself. Cheyenne. Why don't you just tell me the truth? Tell me how you really feel about me. Stop playing these games. Look, Darius, I'm not about to stand around and watch you love somebody else when I'm in love with you. I'm not. <laughs> I got to fly early in the morning. <sighs> so you mean to tell me you're going to still leave when you just told me you love me? Cheyenne! Cheyenne! So, I've got a treat for you. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Looks nice. And you yeah. put it on a good place. I did. Okay. So tell me what you think. Mm-hmm. Tell you right now. It's a little hot. <laughs> there you go. You like? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I know that Chinese is your favorite, so I thought I'd pick up something special tonight. Oh, you picked it up, huh? Mm, I mm -hmm. did. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. Good. What's wrong? I just feel like you haven't been yourself lately. You know Cheyenne left for Africa today. She did. You didn't know? No, I didn't. What, you guys ain't talking no more or something? No, we, we really haven't. I mean, we've always been the type to need a break every once in a while. You know, I guess it's always worked with us being in two different cities. Strange creatures. Yeah, well, you men can't live without us. <laughs> Mom? Mm -hmm. Mom? <laughs> yeah. Eat up. talk to you real quick. What's up? I think we need to take a break. Take a break? Mm-hmm. 
Why? Wow, was what, Cheyenne left and now you all in love? What? I mean, I'm just saying, I saw all the pictures of you and her on your phone. You went to my phone? Well, you've been acting weird lately, and... Yo, my phone just, was locked, yeah. I didn't go through the messages. I mean, she's on your screensaver, so it's not like it was that hard to see anything. You know what? I don't even care. I'm out. Remember, she was the one who left, not me. Indeed. Nobody be here. What are you doing here, man? Hey. Oh, hey. What's up, Leslie? Uh, what's up, Mike? What y'all doing? Uh, we try to do something different, Darius. Something different. I don't think he gets it. We're trying to do something different. Oh, yeah. yeah. Different. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, well, let me like get out Thank your you. way so y'all can do something. Appreciate it. Do you Thank come here and cry you. often? Look nice, huh? Thank you. Oh, okay. Of course. All right. I gotta take his key away. He's here crying. <laughs> Thank you. We should do this again soon. We can do this anytime you want. I had a great time. And you're gonna always have a great time with me. <laughs> That's how I do it. Hey. Oh. What up, brother? Hey. There he is. Man, good to see you, brother. Hey, Jonathan, I almost didn't recognize you. How them furniture pieces doing? Oh, man, they look good, bro. I really appreciate that, man. You know your business, man. I'll give you that. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. Daniela? Mm. Who the fuck? Y'all know each other? Let's just say we're acquaintances. Um, mutual friend. Yeah, let's just say that. Damn, y'all saying a whole lot, but um, okay. Well, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get you home. I gotta get her home, and then you know I gotta get home at that table. Yeah, yeah, you should go. Home. You, should, you know how I do it, baby. Straight yeah. to the house. All straight right. to the house. All, All right. right. Yeah, let's get right out here. Yes. All right, bro. Daniela. Now, yeah. bottom. Hello. Yo, no, Darius Jonathan. It was good to see you the other night, man. Um, hey, listen, I just want to let you know that, uh, you, know, <clears throat> you know, that thing about me and Danielle, uh, you know, that was just strictly business, you know what I'm saying? We were just, you know, business dinner, you know? I mean, it wasn't even really a dinner. It was just business, and and, 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 and we were just eating. <laughs> I just want you to know that, because, you know, I ain't trying to do nothing to hurt my wife. Hey, man, listen, your business is your business. I ain't got nothing to do with that. All right, all right, man, that's what I'm talking about. That's good to know. Yeah, well, I gotta get out of here, man. Come on, my wife, she knows. She cooking some chicken, you know? I like to eat, you know what I mean? Hey, I mean, you good with me, my brother. All right, cool, man. All right. Yeah, good to see you, man. Yeah. Hello? Are you home? Yeah, I'm at home. What's up? Do you mind if I step by? We need to talk. I guess, yeah. Y'all two are a trip. Who? You and your buddy. Look, it don't matter. I'm in the backyard. So, I'll see you. That was fast. I was close by. So, what's up? I got stuff to do. I just wanted to come by and explain. Explain what? That you was with another married man? Look, we just had dinner. Dinner? Don't you think the marital rate with black couples today are low enough for you to add to the statistics? Look, if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. Darius, you don't want to have anything to do with me. Jonathan and I work together. Yo, it wasn't yo, yo, you ain't got to explain to me about you and dude. I don't care. You and I, we were just acquaintances. Look. We both know this was never about me and you in the first place. It was always about me and Cheyenne. The only reason I was interested was because I could see how much she loved you and I wanted to know that I could have you. Wow. Why what? Cheyenne always wins. 
Look, this was my one opportunity to get back at her and be the winner for once. Cheyenne was right. All you want is her spot. Her spot? I deserve to be here just as much as she does. Look, we don't need a break. <sighs> we can make this work. Do you even hear yourself? Yes, I hear myself. I love you. <sighs> and I feel like you love me too. Look, you damn sure don't love her. You smoking crack. You know how stupid that's? Girl, you know damn well you don't love me, and I don't love you. I mean, how can you do this to your friend? Yeah, what you don't know is she would do the exact same thing to me. Well, look, that ain't got nothing to do with me with you and Cheyenne's drama, and I ain't gonna get in the middle of that. Look, y'all need to work it out, if y'all can work it out. But the relationship between me and Cheyenne goes deeper than we would ever be. You are such a coward. Who's a coward? You know what? I'm done with this conversation and you. I've been done. Cheyenne, welcome to the Grayson and Charlotte Show. It is a pleasure to have you on our show. Um, why don't you start in by telling us about your new book, A Second Chance? Yes, well, um, I believe that we all should allow ourselves a second chance instead of wallowing in our misery, that we all deserve to be happy and no one should hold us back from what belongs to us in the first place, that we should allow ourselves to be forgiven as well as forgive. Looks like your girl back in town. Yeah, looks like it. Well, I know you about to hit now. All right, well, I uh, just want to tell you, man, I'm about to run out and uh, grab some food with Leslie for a little bit. Uh, you want me to bring you something back? Um, nah. Man, I got to get this work done, man. You know we got that deadline we got to meet. But I'm also happy yeah, man, I'm not. I'll be back, all right? Yeah. All right. For now, there's someone that here that I need to see, and hopefully they want to see me as well. It's been way too long. You sure you want none? <laughs> no. It's that corner house, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Well, you know, you're welcome back anytime. All right, but up, up next, we have Chef Chris in the kitchen with his vegan tacos. tacos. I cannot wait. Yes, tacos. tacos. I like tacos. I like tacos. OK, well, can, can I stay can I stay with <sighs> Jonathan, so funny you be calling right now. Oh, yeah? Explain that, babe. Nothing. <laughs> Life just has a way of speaking to you at the right moment. So, I want to see you again. I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Look, we don't have to go out anywhere. We can just stay in. Stay in where? At your place. Look, I can sneak out of here when everyone goes to sleep. About 11, maybe just a little bit later. But all I know is I got to see you again, baby. I'm sorry, but I'm better than all of this. I really am. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What are you talking about? Where's all this coming from? Look, I just deserve my own happiness, you know? My own man who loves me and only me. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Yeah, and good luck with you too. And your wife, she deserves better. Goodbye, Jonathan. Thank you for months. Yeah, I've actually been out of the country doing that literacy and writing program in Africa. Africa? Wow. Must have been a great experience. It was. I mean, the people there are amazing and so loving. 
and to be able to teach so many kids to read and write, it was, it was great. I was glad I went. And I had an opportunity to clear my mind. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm actually thinking of starting a program here. There are so many kids that get pushed through the system that don't know how to read or write. Yeah, you know, it's sad, but true. Yeah. Cheyenne, I really missed you. And I didn't like the way we left things the last time we saw each other. I didn't either. Yeah, well, seeing you made me realize how much I still care about you. And if you'd have me, Kevin. I'd, I'd love it. If we could have a fresh start, we'll see where we can take this. Kevin, I really don't think it's a good idea for us to rehash what we had. There are so many painful memories. I just, I can't get past those. Yeah, but I've changed. I, I know what's important to me now. And I've changed too. And I know what's important to me now. I'm just... Kevin, I... I gotta run. It's an emergency. I okay. Yeah, I know. I'll take care of your business. I'm sorry. No, I understand. Thank you for lunch. Anytime. You're feeling better, though, right? Yeah, it's just a little sore, but um, I'm all right, Doc. Thank all you. All right. All right. So if you need anything, just buzz me. All right. All right. Cool. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Doc. Darius, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, they managed to save my hand. What? You almost lost your hand? Yeah. Just missed a major artery, and there's a lot of blood, and... How'd you know I was here? Michael. He called and texted me. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I ain't think you cared anymore. I do care. I've been calling your phone. It just was going straight to voicemail. And now I see why, handyman. <sighs> I'm glad you're okay. Why did you leave, Cheyenne? When I saw you and Daniela at the restaurant that night, and then you kissed her, I thought that's what you want. All this time, you couldn't tell that it was you that I wanted? It didn't seem that way. So I left so I could stay out the way. Stay out the way? Girl, the moment that you left me, I was devastated. Well, that was the hardest thing for me to do, leaving you. I know I was acting crazy in, at that time, and I ran, but really, Darius, I don't know what I would do without you in my life. I missed you every minute that I was gone. Listen, don't you know that not anyone or anything could ever come between what we have. Well, I want more than what we have. What? I want more. Believe me, that first night that we were together, it did mean something. It meant everything. You sure that's what you want? Yes, I'm sure. I don't want to just be a friend anymore, Darius, and all that damn yellow... Mm. Oh, ah, oh, my... Ah, I'm ah, sorry. I'm sorry, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Just kiss me now, go ahead.
I'm gonna call her. Yeah, you should definitely do that. Go for it. Yeah, I should. Hey, you. Hey. What you up to? Nothing, just doing a little too much reminiscing. Need to get some air. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, I need you to do me a favor. Oh, is your hand still sore? Yeah, that's why I need you to come over here and help me cook dinner. You know, Leslie and Makazo are coming over and uh, I kind of want to make it a, a night for them, you know what I mean? Okay, well, I'll come by in a couple hours. Actually, you know what? Make it eight o'clock. Oh, and uh, wear something cute. No, no, matter of fact, wear something sexy. Okay, I'll be there at eight and I'll look cute. All right. I see you. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey, she coming? Yes, you did. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd do something a little snazzy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Gorgeous. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Shea Darius. Some more surprises. Dinner is about to be served. So you don't need my help cooking? Nah, not tonight. <clears throat> I brought appetizers for the table. Oh, my hand, look at you. You look good. Mike, what? Thank you, Mike. I can't look at her. She popping. You, you, you got the pony up? <laughs> <laughs> dry. <laughs> Mike. All right, man. Mm, that's some cheap champagne, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> get, get out, man. You're killing the moment. No, I, I love the legs. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, your cousin. I just. I think my aunt dropped him on his head too many damn times. <laughs> <laughs> but you do look amazing. Thank you, babe. So, you having fun so far? This is incredible. I wasn't expecting all of this. But it's more. <sighs> Cheyenne, you have been my best friend, my confidant, my world for the last five years. And I just can't see myself spending the rest of my life without you in it. I'll be scared for a minute. <laughs> place out. Wow. Congratulations. Thanks. By the looks of that ring on your finger, I guess things are going extremely well. I mean, you could only spot it a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> um, come here. So, how are things? You know me, I'll survive. 
Yes, I do know you. Cheyenne, I just wanted to apologize for everything I did. I don't know what I was thinking trying to come between you and Darius. Well, people are who they are. They don't change. But you don't believe that. I mean, you even said it in your interview. People have to allow themselves to forgive and be forgiven. People can change. They can, but they can't change what they've been through. It's embedded in them, and I understand that about you. Look, Daniela, I'm really sorry that you were hurt, but I think you need to let go of that so you can give yourself a fair chance. I know, it's just so hard. I know it is. I shouldn't have said a lot of the things I said. I shouldn't have said a lot of things I said either. Cheyenne, you're my best friend. Really, you're all I've got. You know what? I think I can find a few wine glasses in one of these boxes. Maybe do a little wedding planning. You know, since you have a little bit more experience than that, that means that you crashed a few on your day. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, ha ha. I'm just kidding. Look, if I can't joke with my maid of honor, who can? Maid of honor? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'd love to. I can't think of any greater honor than to stand next to my best friend mm. on one of the most important days of her life. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> now let's get these wine glasses. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>